Βρισκόμαστε στο χώρο της HP, όπου γίνεται ένας μικρός χαμός με τα τρία WebOS προϊόντα που είχαν ανακοινώσει, το Touchpad, το Palm 3 και το Veer. Ε, θα προσπαθήσουμε να τα δούμε. Όπως βλέπετε γίνεται ένας μικρός χαμός, δεν μας αφήνουν να τα χειριστούμε, αλλά μια καλή ιδέα θα μπορέσουμε να πάρουμε. So first the hardware, it's a 9.7 inch diagonal display, 1024 by 768 resolution. Uh, this is Gorilla Glass in the front. You guys know what that does? It's like protects it from breaking. It's also coated from uh, uh, abrasion resistance and for easy cleaning. Under the hood, we have a uh, 1.2 gigahertz dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon processor with one gig of uh, RAM and either 16 or 32 gigabytes of flash with a triple axis accelerometer, a gyroscope, compass, seven millimeters thick and one and a half, about one and a half pounds, uh, 730 grams. Okay, that's it, no more stats. I'll just give you the, the software. Uh, so this is, this is WebOS, of course, and you can see our familiar card interface. So this is a multitasking environment. Makes it really easy for me to see everything I'm doing at once. I can come in and out of applications really quickly and easily. And the key thing here is it keeps track of what I'm doing, right? This is a product I'm gonna pick up, uh, turn it on, do some stuff, put it back down a lot. And so being able to turn it on and instantly see what it is I'm working on is a really powerful uh, uh, feature for it. The other thing um, that, that sort of fits in with this theme is, is our uh, notification system here. So uh, I'm in the browser in, in this case and you can see I've got my, my emails here. And the cool thing is I can, I can look through and, and flick, flick through my emails without leaving the browser. So how would this work if I didn't have this? I'd have to go to the email application, see what's there, see if there's anything important, and come back. So being able to look at my notifications and sort of flip through them from here within the browser is awesome. And I'll show you the email application. We've done a lot to revamp this for the larger screen. Now you can see I've got my accounts view here, as well as all the messages and uh, an email itself. So do you guys have more than one email account? Yeah. This, this makes it easy to get back and forth between lots of different emails from different accounts. Um, I can also drag this over here and focus on just a single email account. Or if I want, I can go full screen with a single email. So this is good if you've got an email with lots of pictures, lots of content, an HTML email, or just want to get rid of the other distractions and focus on your email. And I could always just drag back like this and bring everything back. We also support uh, multi-select, so if you want to go and grab a few other emails, I can move and delete them. So if you like to keep your inbox organized, you can do that. And if I hit forward here, you'll see that the new email opens up as a new card on top. So the cool thing is I can go back to email and continue working with it, find some other email that's important to me. What happens? I get interrupted when I'm sending an email, I get pulled into a new meeting, something like that. I don't have to finish what it is I'm working on. I can go back and I can still work with email. And in fact, I can reply to some other email. I can have multiple drafts going. Um, this is a really important tool I bet you guys probably use on your computers. I use this myself. Sometimes I hit reply just to keep track of an email so I don't forget to get back to it. And if I want, I can also organize these so I can pull them off. Moving around like this. So this goes back to what I was talking about before is I can turn it on, I can see everything that I'm working on, I can keep myself organized, just like you'd organize uh, you know, papers on a desk. When I'm done with an application, I can just flick it off the top of the screen like that. Um, let me open up the photos. Now, our messaging application is pretty cool. We do Yahoo Instant Messenger, AOL Instant Messenger, and Google Chat, so they're all integrated right here. We also do text messaging. So I've got a Pre-3 here, and these can be paired together. And when I receive a text message on my Pre-3, it'll show up on the touchpad. So what, if you're on the couch or something like that, your phone's maybe out of reach and you receive a text message, you don't have to get up and go find your phone. Or if you're in a meeting, maybe you don't have to be rude and pull out your phone and start texting. You can text right from your touchpad. You can also do phone, phone calls the same way. So if a phone call comes in, you'll see a notification. You can hit answer, you'll know who it is. You can hit reject if you want to talk here. You can transfer the call back to your phone. And I'll show you some uh, another thing we do in, in a bit. Um, Similar functionality, related functionality. Uh, this is our photos application. 
and this uses our Synergy technology. So I've got pictures that are here uh, that are stored on device, but in addition to that, I've got pictures coming in from Facebook and Photobucket and Snapfish. So if I show you the Facebook pictures, these are coming in from a Facebook photo album. I've got comments here I can pull up. So that's my favorite feature of Facebook photos is people comment. I can leave my own comments if I want to. And uh, I can even print from here if I want to. Really easy to print. It'll find a network connected printer. No, no driver installation necessary. It'll find it, just hit print and you're done. I don't have a printer here so I'm not gonna go ahead and print. See different albums there. Um, let me show you this in the browser. I'm gonna move this on top just to show it. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the All Recipes website, looking up a uh, chicken fried, what is this, Chinese chicken fried rice recipe. Um, and if I just touch my uh, pre-3 here, it'll open up this web page on my pre-3. Really cool, so now, why would I want to use this? Again, sitting on my couch, figuring out what I want to cook for dinner, looking for a recipe, and then now I have it, what do I need to do? I gotta go to the grocery store, buy some ingredients. What do I normally do? Write it down, email the link to myself or something like that, open up on the phone. In this case, I just touch it and it'll open up on my phone. I can take it to go with me. So it captures any link? It's any web page, yeah. And it works in both directions too. So I'm out about, I'm away from my touchpad and I'm looking at a web page on my phone and I want to open it up on my, on a bigger screen. I just touch it and it'll open up on the big screen here. So that's called touch to share. Another thing I could show you is 3D game. Takes advantage of the processor I was talking about at the beginning, the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. It's a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. It's got a, a 3D graphics engine and an Adreno core. And I can show you when I get close to the water how just how good the graphics look. The cool thing here is, press this button and the app goes back into card view so I can easily pause and move between uh, playing the game and moving into other applications.